Today gamers, we're going to be jumping into a little bit more Monster Hunter Rise and I'm going to be going over the best ways in order for you to get hold of those armor spheres. Perfect for anyone who's trying to get the best from their armor. So today in Monster Hunter Rise, we're going to be taking a look at armor spheres and what the best ways are to obtain them. If you're anything like me, you found yourself some nice armour, you've managed to craft a few nice pieces, but now you're either running low on resources, for example your money, or even worse than that, you're running low on your armour cores. This can be an absolute nightmare, and just leave the blacksmith there silently judging you. But to avoid that, how about we work out which the best ways are in order to actually grab them up. So first off, and definitely in my opinion the best way, is going to be to make sure you're always picking up your optional side quests. These can hand out a lot of different goodies to you, and you're going to be completing them as you progress through your main quests. In my opinion, you're always going to want to pick the ones that have the armor spheres, as it's definitely going to help you out, especially late game if you're trying to upgrade those high end pieces of armor. Now another great one to remember is that when you're completing quests, especially if you're managing to complete them in multiplayer and being able to do them in a timely fashion, this is going to help you out massively. So quests such as Gotta Hold Fast that you can complete in probably under a minute and a half can really help you out. Make sure you grab it from the DLC content, go up to the bulletin board, then you're going to want to join a multiplayer event and complete it as fast as you possibly can. This works for all missions, but I found this one of the best ones in order to get those armor spheres, as it was panning it out every 3 or 4 goes. Like I said, it's taking me under 2 minutes to do each mission, so this didn't seem too bad, as it gives you a golden egg that's worth 20k, and because you're getting so many likes, it can boost you towards your next goal. As you can see here, the next one's going to be an armor sphere. And earlier we got an armor sphere from our helper. Obviously, it is down to a bit of luck with this, but I found this quest to be really helpful. Lastly, one that you should also bear in mind, just a little helpful one, is going to be whenever you're playing those missions, if you know the layout of the maps very well, especially if you've been playing a while, you're going to come across some endemic life, and a lot of them do certain things. This time, we're on the hunt for something called a rock lizard. On the lava maps, there's one here very often, that's this buddy just here. And I'd say probably one out of every three times, they again are going to be able to drop you a nice little armor sphere. Bear all of these in mind, and hopefully you should be able to gather quite a lot of resources so that when you have got a really nice armor set, you're ready to go and can fully upgrade. Well, you gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you guys and girls out. For all the latest gaming content from me, take care. I'll see you on the next day.